Sam Fisher. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, girl. You can use my name. The room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine. And we'll be online through your earpiece and OPSAT. And that's how we're handling training. Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. All right, Sam. Let's get started. Can you hear me clearly? Hi there. Good. That means the implanted speaker is working correctly. Now, the technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Great. Now the one on your right. Okay, same thing for pitch. Look for another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge, over that pool. You must be Sam Fisher. I'm Anne of Grimm's daughter. Pleased to meet you. Third Echelon lead programmer. You've done your homework. Some of it. I'm still a little foggy on my OPSAT. The Operation Satellite Uplink. Basically just a multi-million tax dollar PDA. But it'll tally everything you'll need to know to complete your missions. So make sure you're comfortable with the interface. No need to introduce yourself. I've already got an earful of your history from Lambert. I'm not as mean as he says. On the contrary, the man thinks you should be canonized. Huh. What? The saint of shady causes? I don't know. How about the saint of well-directed sins? You were involved with Second Echelon, right? Yeah, briefly. I had some ideological differences. Like what? It didn't respect the human element. Hmm. Were you there for the burnout in 2000? Yeah. But I don't even have clearance to think about it. Let you do your thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it.
job, Fisher. As soon as you can find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert ops training. into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area without being detected. We've got live bodies in there. Some of the top CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. The next door is locked, Sam. You'll need to use your lock picks to get through it. Next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? Uh, not so tight. That hurts. Sorry about that. What's the door code? Two. Eight, four, six, nine. It was a pleasure working with you. This next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner, usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your opsat. If the meter's at four, you're lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's shadow. Some cameras are more fragile, and all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. Sometimes the only way to pass a camera will be to stick to existing shadows and time your movement.
Knock out the guard in the corridor and hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. Okay now, Fisher, let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. Good work, Sam. Remember that discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. Next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. Not quite soft enough. Give it another shot. Have you started yet? Fisher, holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure? Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. <laughs>